Great. Uh, good evening again. Uh, so the group on the stage now is the Stratford Wind Orchestra. Uh, this uh, group uh, is made up of grades 9 through 12, and uh, this group has also had another remarkable year as well. I think in December we talked a little bit about um, each year, uh, it seems like the Stratford Wind Orchestra, we send in a tape to get selected for something, and they always manage to get selected. It's definitely a, an interesting uh, adventure we've had uh, since I've, I've gotten here, and since before I, I was here. Uh, but in February, this group uh, played at the University of South Carolina Band Clinic, which is an invitational um, for high school band students individually that make up honor band clinics, or honor bands at the clinic. But they have two guest ensembles, high school guest ensembles, one from South Carolina and one from any other state that applies. Um, and we were the, the South Carolina group that was selected after the audition. Um, so uh, my first year at Trafford, we also did that same thing. So this is the second time I've done it here at Stratford, and uh, they gave a, a great concert. I know that some of our parents were in the lobby afterwards, and a lot of folks were talking about the Stratford concert compared to the other group, but uh, we definitely had a lot of fun preparing that concert, and we gave a preview concert in February, so you, you heard that music. None of that music's being played tonight. It's all different music, uh, but we were just very uh, proud of the, the work that the students have done. Um, this this uh, performance at USC Band Clinic, I think, gave us our sixth national um, band Association Citation of Excellence, which is not something a lot of groups have. And I think we have, I think we have about six of them. Yeah, um, so the piece you just heard was Mother Earth, a Fanfare uh, by David Maslenka. Um, that piece is, in his words, um, a cry for humanity to think about our planet, um, think about what's happening to our environment. Um, so the nature of that piece that you could, you know, if you think back to what we just heard, very angry, very angsty, uh, but in the middle, just a moment of peace, like a moment of uh, kind of serenity, and then right back into that, that angry um, sound. Um, next, uh, we're gonna play a piece that everybody should be familiar with, Amazing Grace. Uh, this is by Frank T. Kelly. Uh, Frank T. Kelly is a huge um, high school band composer, middle school band composer in our uh, country. Um, after Amazing Grace, you're going to hear a piece called Kachin Growl, which is by Clifton Williams. It's the last piece of music he ever wrote, and he found out that he was going to be uh, passing away while he was writing it. Um, there are two parts, the Kachin and then the Corral, and you can read about it in your program, but the Kachin is about um, people getting caught up in the daily minutia of life and not appreciating what's actually important, um, getting caught up in materialistic things. And then the corral, he wrote um, right after the doctor told him, hey, you only have so much time to live. Um, so it's a drastic change when you hear the katcha, and then there's a break by the chimes, and then um, the corral happens um, when Clifton Williams knows he only has, this is the last thing he's gonna write. And then the other thing, at the very, very end of the piece, his son actually finished it because um, he passed away and his son did like a little tribute of the last like four measures for him. And then the last piece they'll play, our student teacher, Mr. Romano, has been wonderful. As you can tell, like he just got that award. Uh, he's actually doing what's called the big piece. Like it's a very long piece. He's doing El Camino Real with them. So um, lots of different music uh, again with this group. So another thing for Amazing Grace, you can see in your program, so it's conducted by Joel Kirkendall. Joel Kirkendall is a, a senior student here at Stratford. He plays horn. Uh, he's been an all-state kid ever since uh, middle school, a uh, fantastic musician. Um, about a year ago, we talked about him perhaps doing a, a piece on our spring concert to help prepare him for a life after uh, high school as he goes into music education uh, after high school. So uh, we've been really, uh, of course, um, Happy to have Joel uh, work on this piece with them, and it's definitely a piece that you can do with any high school band. It's very approachable. So without further ado, would you please uh, join me in welcoming Mr. Joel Kirkendall to the podium. To <laughs>